in a world where everyone is divided into two opposing factions, the Federalists and the N and Anti-Federalists. Well, Anti-Federalists were really created. Why is this nation so brutally split? Is it because of malicious sabotage? Resource hoarding? Or because they're both just so friggin' annoying to each other? Although that would have made for a much more interesting story. No, it's because of this piece of paper. The Constitution was made to replace the Articles of Confederation basically because the Articles were just really crummy. They were forged in the fires of Mount Doom a millennia ago. It gave no power to enforce laws, no power to tax, no strong steady leadership, no national army or navy, no national court system, and no national currency. But hey, we can handle international relations pretty good, and you know, we can coin and borrow money, and we can work post offices. Doesn't that make up? No, no, no. So the U.S. Constitution was born, ratified June 21st, 1788. It basically fixed all the problems of the Article of Confederation, protected the rights of the people with checks and balances, and gave government power to control the uncooperative states. <laughs> However, while the Federalists, like James Madison, Alexander Hamilton, George Washington, and Ben Franklin, were for the Constitution being ratified, the Anti-Federalists, like Patrick Henry, George Mason, and Melanchthon Smith? I'm gonna go with Melanchthon. Melanchthon Smith were not. They argued that the government was given too much power at the expense of the states, that Congress and the executive branch wielded too much power, and the kicker, there was no Bill of Rights! Yet. So eventually that was solved and a Bill of Rights were added in the Ten Amendments to the Constitution. Amendment 1, freedom of speech, press, religion, and petition. Amendment 2, right to bear arms. Amendment 3, quartering troops. Amendment 4, search and seizure. Amendment 5, provision concerning prosecution. Amendment 6, right to a speedy public trial. Amendment 7, right to a trial by jury. Amendment 8, prohibiting excessive bail or cruel punishment. Amendment 9, stating that the rights are including these but not limited to them. And Amendment 10, rights not had by the government are had by the people and states. And so, the two sides of the debate were established. The end.